Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the curtain wall. What is that curtain wall? What the function have the curtain wall? And what you can do with the curtain wall? We will see all the functional what we have inside in Revit of the our curtain wall. So let's get started. At the first point, as always, I will create the new uh, new document. Let's make it like architecture template, or you can use your own template. You can check my previous video and you can get my free template with some of the nice features inside that one. So I will use the my own template and let's open up it. So here we are. This is our mm, blank project. And let's find up our curtain wall. Where is it? So you can find under architecture tab and you will go to the wall. When you will go to the wall, go to the type of the walls and you will see here the all the types of the wall. The curtain wall is under everything. You will find the category by curtain wall. You will find it here. And as you can see, we have already like three different type of standard one uh, in, in our Revit. So let's use, for example, let's choose the one of them and let's see the, what the type of the function the curtain wall have. On the right side, you can see the our uh, preferences from the our wall. So as you can see, we have here the mm, base constraint, we have here the base offset and some other function. So what is that base, cons base constraint? So let's say I'll show you. Uh, let's say you have your wall. This is your wall. And here is the uh, ground level. Let's do it like this. So the base constraint, this is the way your wall will locate it. So this, this thing, this is called the level one or base constraint. So your wall now uh, laying on this level. So the base offset, it means like you will offset from this level. So it means your wall will go uh, deeper or will go a bit above. So what does it mean? Let's say I'll draw you one in one more here. It can be like this, for example, or can be like this. Also it's possible. So the level it's same, but the base constraint is different. Here the one, here the above. And the same thing with the top constraint. So top constraint, it means like your level will connect it to the sum level. Let's say this uh, wall will connect it to the level two, but this level doesn't have any unconnected as you can see. And if you are using the same system unconnected, the our wall will following the other rules. So unconnected height. So it means if we have here the eight meter, here will be 8 meter, but if we will change unconnected to level 2, uh, our wall will be, will be equal to the this between these two levels. So uh, let's say I'll draw you again something something else. Uh, let's say we will uh, first I will um, before I will draw I will put my my curtain wall here. Uh, let's go to 3D and as you can see now we are using the unconnected uh, unconnected top constraint right as you can see unconnected so uh, you can see the my level 2 here and my level 1 is here right and as you can see the uh, curtain wall is much bigger than level 2 so if I will change my uh, curtain wall now to the level 2 it's automatically will change uh, to this height as you can see here four meters let's change this meters like to six meter and my curtain wall will automatically follow this level so it's really useful you should uh, use uh, the some levels to connect your walls or your curtain walls because the curtain walls using the uh, pretty same thing like um, uh, like a walls, so they're using the same engine inside Revit. So let's check the uh, some other function what have uh, inside our uh, curtain wall. 
actually the vertical grid and horizontal grid this is really a uh, main thing in our curtain wall uh, these two things it makes difference between uh, wall and curtain wall let's i will show you just don't don't mind what i'm what i will do just uh, i want to show you something let's i'll make here like this and i'll say okay and as you can see this is different so uh wall cannot be uh like how to say uh wall cannot be uh divided by panels but the curtain wall it is this can be divided by panels and here you can uh, make some changes like for example justification is starting from beginning so as you remember i start to draw my wall from the left side to the right side so i will go now to the front view and i will show you what is mean from beginning i will change now to the end and as you can see the right panel starting bigger than left one so the my panels now starting uh drawing from the right side to the left side so from the end to the start if i will change to the center position so it means it will equal to center position and left side and right side will be equal so it will be divided and equal between two of these parts so let's leave it on the center as you can understand horizontal uh, grid it's totally same thing but it's story about this part but i will show you for example to the end as you can see it's nothing changed let's try to the start and center i mean and here it's nothing changed because we have here the four meters for four meters is perfectly dividing for these panels let's make some changes here top of set i will do like 500 millimeters and now you can see the changes as you can see again we have the here the small part and here we have the small part and uh, again if i will change to the end we have the same thing here the smaller here the biggest part and on and on let's leave it back like this and i will change to the center position so as you can see already here we have the angle so what is means angle if i will change the angle my vertical grids my vertical grids will automatically get some angle now uh, 20 degree so as you can see my um vertical uh, grids changing changed to the 20 degree uh, so let's say we leave it back to the zero and the same story here in horizontal uh, angle let's change it to 10 degree and as you can see this is part it's changed to the 10, 10 degree uh, let's say leave it it's back again so and now i will show you the thing offset so offset make for us allow to change our grid for example you want make it a bit left so you can do it just right here the 500 like example and as you can see our grid is going a bit to the right side now it doesn't matter which one you are using for example justification let's say you are using the beginning it will start correct as you can see i will start like zero but if i will write here minus 200 millimeters it will go to the left side so this makes your uh, some possibility to change your grid as you want the same story here if we will write something like one for let's make 1000 here it will change totally on the vertical oh, i mean the horizontal part let's say zero and we will back to the our panels just remember one thing the curtain wall in revit it is not the user family this is system family and it's not just a family this is collector of the families just remember families why i say that if we will select our uh, curtain wall as you can see this is not a uh, union object you can see here the common 33 objects it's really incredible how come uh, we just created only the curtain wall let's see what we have inside on the under filter let's open the filter and you can see here the curtain panels 52 objects and wall just one object so as i said the curtain wall using same engine like a wall and that's why we have the here the wall one but uh, also the curtain engine uh, cur curtain panel can i mean oh sorry i mean the uh curtain wall can collect some curtain walls 
curtain uh, curtain panels and we can include inside the curtain panels other uh, other one some curtain panels okay i think enough uh, story enough talking and i will show you uh, we, we are now in 3d and as you can see if i will using the top here i can select one of the panels right if i click somewhere here i will uh, choose the all my curtain wall let's say i'll choose some panels and uh what we can do here uh, first, you will find under architecture here the curtain grid. If you will go to the curtain grid, we can add more grids, some additional grids. We can all add some uh, all the way segments or we can add some one segment, as you can see here. Just one here, let's say I want, I want make here, maybe I want some vertical, let's make some vertical and uh, maybe I will make some uh, like this so it's possible to make it and we can create the mullions this is really important thing in this uh, in this curtain wall we can create the mullions we can create it by manually so we will go again to the architecture tab and you will find here the mullions so let's choose the mullions and the same story grid one grids one segment all all the lines so let's say we are just noobs we will use the all the grids and now here you possible to change to choose any the type of the mullion what you want to use let's say we will use 50 by 65 millimeters and we will choose our wall few seconds and now all the our uh, grid lines have the mullions of mullions so if, if i will select now again everything and we'll go to the filter now you will see here the much more objects you will see here the curtain panels you will see here curtain panels wall grids and you will see of course the curtain wall mullions and now you can see it's much much more objects than was before uh, that's the system how it's working of course, you can change all these panels by default. What I mean by default? Let's go to the wall. Let's choose our curtain wall. Let's I'll draw one, one more here. And we will go to the uh, edit type. We will go to the edit type and we will create the new family. Let's, uh, sorry, uh, let's choose our wall. After that, we will go to the edit type and let's create duplicate. And let's, we will write like test test one why not and here we have the other function let's find here the mullions you can see it's adjust for mullion size no it's not that what we want aha uh -huh. what this is what i want vertical mullions and horizontal mullions so the story is same just play around with the interior type border type and border uh, border two type so i will do one by one to show you the what will change as you can see here the interior type i will do it a bit smaller and let's do it uh, let's choose for example that one and let's say okay as you can see the interior type will uh, allow to us create the interior only interior uh, mullions let's add some more for example i i just can copy it just ctrl c and ctrl v to border one and let's say okay let's say okay and as you can see the border one is the left side as you can see here and as you understand border two this is right side and you will be right so let's say I'll choose my uh, curtain wall again and I will put here one more mullion and I will say OK. And as you can see, we created the other one. The same story, totally same story with the uh, vertical one. Uh, I'm sorry, with horizontal one, as you can see here. Let's create here some other one. Maybe here the radius 50 millimeters. Let's say OK. And we will create only interior thing. And here i will move, do this one as you can see i may i, I did it uh, on the on the basement side and here i will do on the top side let's make doesn't matter which one this one so let's go to the front now view and i will hide now this horizontal line or oh, i mean the other one vertical uh, curtain wall and let's check it again so let's go to the edit type of the our wall 
and let's check it out again. So again, as I said, the uh, interior type, this is this one. So that one, that one, that one. So this interior type, this one, this one, that one, that one, and that, and that one. The border type, for example, for um, border type for the uh, vertical one, uh, border it's this one and this one. For the horizontal mullions, it's that one, the basement and topest one. Now I think you understand clearly uh, how working the vertical mullions. So because uh, this is really simple. But anyway, I'm trying to show you all the things, how it's working. So uh, let's take the exit example. So I will choose again, uh, I, mean, I mean, I will select my curtain ball again and I will go back to the edit type. So and let's check the other function inside, inside our uh, family. So we have here the functional, this really important thing. This is automatic and so what does it mean? I will show you. I will show you on this side. Uh, let's create, I will create some wall here. Let's say I'll do 300 millimeters, why not? And one more 300 millimeters here. So I will go to the plan now. As you can see, this is my 301 and 302. So and I will, uh, for example, uh, here this is my wall, I will use it. So I just copied this wall and I will put it here. And I get some warning. So the Revit saying we cannot put the other family to the uh, just family inside to the other family. So uh, let's go to inside this uh, uh, type and we will switch on this function. Now I will copy this thing and I will put it here inside. And as you can see, difference is the M that it means we can include inside wall, our other wall. So it means curtain wall. If you will go to 3D, now you can see our curtain wall can make the hole inside the other wall. It's really cool. And if you if you even the make it smaller than our wall, it will be work. So it means we can use our curtain wall like a window. And I really highly recommend that you use the curtain wall like a window because in some big projects it will be more useful than just family window. Uh, anyway, we can change here the parameters also. If we will go back to the uh, inside this family, we will switch on that. We will say OK. If we will create the hole, just remember if you will now switch off this function. I mean, if I will switch off back it, the wall is remember about uh, the wall. Remember the function, uh, how to make the hole here. So what I mean, if I will switch off, it still will be like this. Why? Because the this is Revit. <laughs> Just I will say like this. It's not the bug. This is future like the Autodesk said. But anyway, now you will know if you will switch off that it still will be work like this uh, wall with ended uh, thing. So just remember about this thing. If I will create the new one, of course, it will be already with the some new function, let's say like this. And now it's not, it, it's working like we want. But that one, it's working uh, as before. Remember about this thing. So let's go back to the uh, function and let's check what we have else here. So as you can see, we have here the uh, curtain panel. So curtain panel like emollients we can change. We can change uh, instantly or we can change inside our edit type. So what does mean? Uh, as you remember we, we did this emollients instantly. So let's create here uh, our panels by local. I will use the top key. Just make sure your wall panels unpin. So if your panels not unpin, you're not able to change the panels. So unpin your uh, panel. After that, you will change. You will uh, possible to change the panel. And let's say here will be some uh, other panel. Let's say solid. And as you can see, we get here the solid panel. So I'm using again the top key. And as you can see, I can choose now. And let's uh, say I want here the wall 
This is possible. Here is now wall. Let's make some uh, really crazy thing. I will choose this curtain panel and I will create inside this curtain panel one more curtain wall. You think it's not possible? No, it's possible. So now we have inside curtain wall one more curtain wall. So it's not inception, you no need going deeper and deeper, this is enough, uh, but you can create something uh, interesting things. Let's say here is, uh, will be test one, and here I will make like for example uh, a fixed number, and here I also will do fixed number. Let's say okay, and ta -ta, we get something like this. So uh, the borders only your imagination use your imagination and you will create some impossible things with the uh, curtain wall. We will continue in the next tutorial. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. If you still want to support my channel but you don't have enough money you can go to the Patreon and only for the one dollar you can support my channel too. You will make me happy too and you can pay seven dollars and you can get all the bottles for every month what I'm posted there.